seven, six, five, four, three. Brian Blitz here for another edition of Superstars of the Ring. With me as always is my co-host, Sir Ian Shire. We do apologize. Last week we were not able to make the show. However, somebody's fault at the airport. If you want to take forever going through baggage claim. I, it wasn't my fault. Who got pinned up at, at TSA? I'm not giving them my shoes. Your shoes? I'm not giving them my shoes. They're not going to give them back. Okay, well, why did you give them your shirt? I didn't get some other. You're waving around little pieces of your own. You know what? You know, we're not even going to get into that. You know, you want to talk about wardrobe. You look like you're getting a school picture here. Did your mommy send you off looking like that with your hair all nice and combed? Spit jealous? Yes, yeah. you are. Ladies and gentlemen, recently Jonathan Wells has uh, shown a little bit of an attitude. And um, he had a bit of a tirade not too long ago with one of our colleagues, Mike Carney. Let's go ahead and go and see this. Of course, as album. you know, a couple weeks, you know, last week. We weren't here. So Mike Carney took it upon himself to show you all the match between Jonathan Wells and Rock and Old Chris Turner. <sighs> Unfortunately, Rock and Old Chris Turner is still the CCW champion. Jonathan Wells looked dejected. He has uh, his opinions. And... Dejected? He threw a fit like a like a 22-year-old baby. 22-year-olds aren't babies. Maybe a 22-day-old He's a full-grown man. He's a well-spoken individual. Me and him, we don't get along very well, but, you know, that's besides the point. My six-year-old sister acts better at Chuck E. Cheese than that. Anyway, we would say we'd like to thank Mike Carney for filling in for us, but I can't because I despise him, especially with that interview they had with Hayden Price. Well, you stop. But anyway, let's take it over to what happened with Jonathan Wells. Let's go to the action. No, right I said 15 pepperoni. Yes, yes, I need it. I need it. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. I'm on the phone. Hold on just a minute. Hold on. Listen, how do you expect a man of my caliber to get in that ring and win championships if I got to listen to your measly little mouth saying this and that and whatever the heck you were saying out there? Okay, I got, I got distracted. I had Chris Turner beat. All right, I should be CCW champion. But instead, here I am, not champion, in your office, having to listen to you order pizza when there's such atrocities as that going on in this company. From now on, when the future is in that very ring, when the future is showing why he's the best thing in CCW, I don't want you anywhere near the ring, and I don't want to hear your mouth anywhere near the ring. <laughs> oh, that's beautiful. That is beautiful, you know? Jonathan Wells, I'll give you this. You hit the nail right on the head with a hammer, making fun of Mike Carney and his insults and his, just his second-rate commentary. And how did he have a nicer office than you? That was my office. That could have been your office. It was much too clean and, you know... Yeah, I know. Didn't, it didn't smell like, you know, wet kitty litter and laundry. Well, you stop. I'm just saying. But Jonathan Wells, you are not the greatest thing in CCW. I am. And remember that. 
Are you on? Be my guest. All right, folks. This week's match is going to be the Revelator Kevin Tool yes! against the very popular and very fan friendly. Sorry, Cousin. Shire. No, I'm just kidding. I would wrestle Kevin Kevin Tool. I like Kevin Tool. He's he's a great fella. Who, who who's his opponent? Cousin Ricky J. Oh, your buddy. God, fellow country man. Oh. Speaking Go of ahead, get it out of your system. He makes your office Go ahead. smell Go like the get her down. Go ahead. You know you can get it out. He makes your office smell like the botanical gardens. Alright? That man smells awful. He's a dirty office smells like strawberries. He's a dirty corn shucking, chicken plucking pig you farmer. Smell, it's a family show, alright? Shucking so. plucking pig. But folks, very exciting action, so let's go to the match right now. Capture bar. And there's the bell, and we're underway in this big men here in CCW. The six foot six revelator Kevin Tool and the country boy cousin Ricky J. Terry, what do you say? Well, you think uh, Ricky J. was from here the way the crowd yelled for him when he came out here in Houston, Florida? Nice tie up, collar and elbow. You know, cousin Ricky J.'s got a new ring attire for tonight. He's in full camo instead of his uh, usual overalls. That is true, that is true. Looks like some mossy oak look in there. Revelator all over him already early with them big massive fists from left field. Yeah, that right to the midsection, double over with Cousin Ricky. Looks like he's going to shoot him across the ring to the opposite turnbuckle. Yes, he sure does with an Irish whip. Follows up with a big massive clothesline. Look at the power behind that. Kevin Tool like a freight train coming across there. Kevin Tool is a big strong man show. I, uh, Ricky to just man him like he's doing. Every time I see this young man, I'm more and more impressed with him. No, uh, the Revelator does it fit that appropriately. I mean, yes, it does for his, his ring repertoire, but I think it's more of a revelation that the wrestlers that get in the ring with him feel when he gets a hold of them. Well, right now, though, Ricky Jay's not backing down. Nice high leaping clothesline from Ricky Jay. High impact, just put the Revelator over. Backs him up into the corner to the head, to head, to head to the turnbuckle. Big shoulder. Cousin Ricky J definitely get on top of the game right now with the Re Revelator. You know, six foot six walking attitude also is what he goes by. Whips him into the turnbuckle. Ricky J oh, took a flip to the chest. You know, you just talking about nicknames. He could also be called the Terminator. I ain't seen a lot of people that hurt this big man. Belly to belly suplex. Nice overhead suplex there, huh? That's a big man to flip over your head like that. Oh, yes, it is. That definitely goes to show you what we were talking about, about massive power between these two right here. Revelator just really took it to him. I think that may have just took a lot of gas out of the tank of Cousin Ricky J. Yeah, it's almost like the irresistible force meeting the immovable objects. Wow, just when we thought Ricky J may have been down, here he goes. He's getting the first pinning attempt of the match. Cool so kicks out of a two count. Ricky J brings him back to his feet. Looks like a neck breaker. Neck breaker by Ricky J. Nice spinning neck breaker there. And the big man there, Kevin Toole, down on the mat, and we don't see him down very, very often, Terry. Not at all, not at all. Ricky Jay brings it back to his feet. What a kick to the back of the head by Kevin Toole. Wow, did you see that? He that quick out of nowhere, almost like the strike of a that boot from the Revelator. Without a doubt, Ricky Jay is down, and he may be. I know there he is. He's starting to move a little bit. Thought for a minute, I took him out. Kevin O'Toole picks him back up. High knee lift. DDT. Revelator definitely with that DDT. Terry, uh, these, this right here may have been, maybe it right here. I don't maybe, know. Maybe. Looks like he's out. No, he kicks out at the counter too. Wow. I can't believe Ricky J had the, had the gumption to kick out there. Wow. You know, that fortitude, though, says a lot, you know, when you get in the match, your willpower. There it goes, Ricky J now, mounting little outfits, kicking boots, uh, excuse me, fists to the abdomen, got him in a turnbuckle, shoots him off. Looks like he's going to come across the ring. Oh, Revelator's 
not home. And a big hard slam, what we call a softball slam, and that'll do it. Yep. That's it right there. Revelator took him, took him out, took it to Ricky J. Again. One, two, three. about him to get out of the way. Yes. Kevin Tool, victorious. Who called it? This guy. Yes. I may have called it, but you know, there's no taking away from Cousin Ricky J. Fantastic performer. He's only getting better every day. And you know, he fell a little short in this match, but Oh yay, so. Ricky J is a big old tough country pumpkin eating biscuits and gravy and popcorn corn bread and all those good things with his pickup truck and oh you stop. All the, the peasants stop, love him because he's a good old soul of the earth guy, yeah. I know but you he, know what? All that didn't mean a thing because he didn't beat Kevin Tool. Yeah, I think you're still just a little bit too infatuated with bis biscuits. Having said that, I understand that you have a little bit of a treat for us this week, and I'm kind of curious because I have no idea what's going on. This happen. I do. Now, ever since Samantha Steele has come back to CCW from a tour of Japan, and steals her new Army of Darkness, her new minions. Of course, we've seen Demonic. Uh, Mike Carney introduced us to the next member here last week. Yeah, dude's very bizarre. Anyway, she's just been up, going up and up and up. And everything's just going her way. I mean, she has these new minions. She has her Army of Darkness. Mm -hmm. She already had the women's title. And for a very brief time, they had the tag team titles. Now, I know, I know, the Marx Brothers are the tag team champions. And they never lost it. But... Samantha had the belts, and possession is not intense of the law in my eyes. But of course, big fat Richard Marshall and the Asia suit Larry had to come bumbling down out of their offices and saying she had to give them back. So remind me to never hire you as my attorney for anything, even a traffic ticket. Anyway, so I figured what's good for the goose is good for the gander. What's good for the gander is good for the goose. I went out and procured my own, the Necronomicon. So I'm going to use it here on this show to summon my own Army of Darkness. No. And I'm going to take my Army of Darkness straight to the top. Hold this. What, what, what are you doing? Hold this. Now wait till I get my cue. And I'm going to use my Army of Darkness to get to the top here in CCW and take the title from that old fuddy duddy rockin' old Chris Tenner. Hold this here. Thank you, sir. All right, where is it? Demon incantations, demon incantations. I know I, s I put it here. Oh, what, here we go. What, what, what are you doing? Hold, hold this up here. I need to, need to see. I'm, I'm, I told you, I'm summoning an army of darkness. I'm going to bestow my own reign of terror here, just like Samantha. Yeah, hold on. to Everata Nito. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop speaking Esperanto or French or Simone or whatever you're It's saying. Latin. I'm speaking Kandarian incantations. I is it Latin for, hi, Samantha, I want to be just like you. What are you talking about? Samantha has been doing this very bizarre sort of situation that you're doing right now for the last several weeks. You and I have seen the videos. We've introduced every one of them. This is kind of like with her and the fire and the rain, isn't it? Uh, yeah, it's like a lot of pain. And I'm telling you right now, I want nothing to do with it. I, you, you, if you want to imitate Samantha Steele and get on her bad side, that's all up to you, buddy. But Where are you going, Biscuits? Um, I have nothing to do with this, and I want nothing to do with this. Where are you going? What, what are you doing? Are you stealing all the lunch from the, from the table over there? From, you know, hang on. Turn the lights back on. <coughs> and only Patriot for the Spirit of Sanctu. I absolve this. You know what? I really hate to admit it, but Biscuits has a point. Hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. And Samantha Steele is one woman that I do not want scorned or mad at me. I've been good enough to be in her good graces so far. So, Samantha, I'm sorry. I meant nothing by it. I, I just Biscuits, quit stealing the lunches. Get back here. We have a show to finish. Come. Come, come back here. Did you just steal that man's soda? No, I did not steal anybody's soda. Are you done with your, uh, um, your little... I apologize, Samantha. I, I, you know, there are, there are other beings that a lot of us... Consider, you know, well, I'm not going to get into that. It's a whole other ballgame. The point is, is Samantha Steele is obviously one individual that I don't want to upset. That's, why, go for that's why I let you talk me out of it. She has. How, uh, how, how did you enjoy that wedgie sandwich she gave you last time she was here? Stop. 
That's not fun. I thought it was a new headband. It was his underwear bit and put it all the way up around. Oh, anyway. <coughs> Aren't you going to say goodbye to the peasants? Are you done? Mm -hmm. I'll let you get your jollies out of the way now so you can go have your tea. It's proper when you put your pinky out like that. It's a little effeminate. Folks, want to thank you for Sri and Shire. This is Brian Blitz, and until next time, we will see you at the ring. A company always on the run A destiny Oh, it's the rising sun Shotgun in my hands Behind the gun I'll make my final stand Yeah And that's why they call me